Good evening, good evening, good evening. This is Priscilla and you are tuned in to Unapologetically Priscilla. And tonight's topic, we will be discussing ways to manage diabetes without medication. That's right. We're going to talk about managing diabetes without medication. Um, Speaking from experience, I can honestly say that I was diagnosed with um, diabetes and my whole family. um, I do have a generation of diabetics in my family. I had to administer shots of insulin three times a day to my grandmother. And I also administered shots for my mother three times a day. Um, I did have the honor of taking care of both of my um, my grandmother and my mother um, until the day until they passed away. Um, yeah, that was a hard, hard uh, pill to swallow, but I do know know that God does not make any mistakes. Anything that God brings to us. He will bring us through it. So, I am an overcomer. So, being diagnosed with diabetes, um, for many, many years, they prescribed me metformin. And it was 500 milligrams. But I never would take the metformin. Because I read all of the side effects of metformin. And I just didn't want to put that in my body. But... Being careless and not eating right, um, when I went back to the doctor almost um, three years ago, I was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, I think, or type 1. I would have to look that up. I do apologize. I get confused sometimes on the types. But apparently I had the one that was not so serious, Um It was the one where I could take metformin and that would be it. I wouldn't have to do the insulin. But I was so determined to get off of metformin. So I started to um, do away with fried foods. I didn't eat anything fried. I baked everything or I broiled it. And then also I ate a lot of vegetables and fruit. And you have to be careful what types of fruit you are eating because bananas and um, kiwi, a lot of different fruit, and I think uh, mangoes have a large, large amount of sugar. So we have to eat those fruit that are not loaded with sugar and stay away from drinks and any foods if you look at the back of your um, container and or your carton and it says includes added sugars, stay away from those foods. Anything that's added sugars mean it could have the cane sugar or um, granulated sugar um, that we eat uh, on a regular basis when we put that kind of sugar in the corn flakes, uh, cereal. Uh, We put it in our coffee and our tea, Kool-Aid for people who like Kool-Aid. I don't drink any drinks with sugar, included with added sugar, excuse me. All I drink mostly is water. I do drink a lot of water. And speaking of water, I think I'm going to drink some water now. So excuse me for just one moment. Okay, guys, I am back. So, I drink a lot of water. And I try to get a gallon of water in my system every day. Normally, between the hours of 8 and 10, I would drink um, two two cups of water. Then, between 12 and 2, I try to drink two more cups of water. And then between the hours of 4 and 6, I try to drink two more cups of water. 
And then at the end of the night, I finish off whatever water I haven't drunk. I try to get in two more to, you know, keep your body hydrated. All of your organs and brain cells and um, um, I hate when I forget what I'm trying to say. All of your organs and brain cells work very well when you are hydrated. Now, many people, they say they don't like the taste of water. Well, you can add things into your water to give it a little flavor so that you can get that water into your system. And also, try to stay away from tap water. We all know that tap water is not good for our bodies. It has fluoride in it. Fluoride messes up the little, um, they call it the third eye in your brain, but it interferes with the, the, um, I got to pull that up. I don't like talking about things. I don't have 100% facts. So I'm just going to get away from that real quickly and stick to my topic. We'll come back around to that a little later, maybe in another episode. Okay. So, um, the number one way to beat diabetes without medication, um, you can eat a healthy diet. You can choose to eat more whole fruits and vegetables, more whole grains and lean proteins. You can get your fats from healthy sources like avocados, nuts, and olive oil. You can get more high-quality protein from eggs, beans, and unsweetened yogurt. Your body needs fat, carbs, and proteins to function. So you got to make sure that you are choosing the healthiest foods and healthiest forms of food and be sure to avoid refined carbohydrate carbohydrates and hidden sugars you can eat whole fruits rather than drinking juice you know a lot of people grab a juice and if you look at the back of the carton that juice is just packed with added sugars I try to stay away from those types of juice. I think juicy juice, a lot of people don't like juicy juice, but juicy juice is one of the juices that has zero sugar, zero added sugar. Let me say that. And then also be sure to check your food labels for hidden sugars in the ingredients list. Okay. So that's number one. Number two. You can lose weight. Start working out. Um, If you can, gradually start working out. Everybody don't have the ability to work out in a gym. Everyone everyone can't afford to pay a gym membership. But you can work out at home. You can walk around your house, do so many laps around the house. You can do jumping jacks. You can do squats. You can do up-downs sit-ups you can run in place you can get your jump rope and do jump rope um do jump roping at home you can get the little weights the five pound weights or however many pounds you want to get it's up to you and your budget you know we can't tell you how much to spend but if you want to invest in your health you will sacrifice and spend the money to get the the equipment you need to exercise at home It's so many programs that you can do at home. YouTube is a free um, streaming service. You can download or watch YouTube exercise videos for free. All you got to do is turn your TV. Most people have smart TVs. Turn your TV to YouTube, even on your cell phone. Turn it on. Get you a good workout. Um video for about a good 30 minutes and if you are a person you can't go 30 minutes find your workout video for 10 minutes you just gotta incorporate 
working out, exercising into your weight loss journey and beating diabetes, you got to lose weight. And if you, you know, if you go hard and, and you start losing weight, you need to lose just five to 10% of your body weight. Um, just losing that can help control your blood sugar. You can reduce your cholesterol levels and lower your blood pressure. I mean, we got to make wise decisions on uh, getting back in shape, getting back healthy, and doing things that's going to benefit our bodies. Also, as I was saying, you know, exercise 30 minutes a day. By doing so, you can reduce your blood sugar levels and you can decrease decrease insulin resistance and it will help you replace um excuse me help regulate your blood pressure and cholesterol levels and if you can find 60 minutes per day to exercise that's even better it can help you lose weight i promise you i've tried it it works also you do need to make a commitment to exercise regularly by finding a partner so if you are a person you need some motivation find you a workout buddy who you can regularly work out with somebody that's going to stick to the plan and not deviate because the worst thing you need is someone that's going to deviate from uh, the workout plan once you get a, a good workout regimen going stick to it and stay away from the scale. A lot of people, they go to the scale every day, every week. And one thing I've learned is that as you gain muscle, you lose fat. And muscle weighs more than fat. So you're going to get discouraged. But just trust me. If you can, try to weigh yourself at least once a month. That's what I would do. Also, be sure to test your blood sugar on a regular basis. Um, by testing your blood sugar regularly, you will begin to see patterns. You can do certain activities that lower your blood sugar. When you test it, uh, you will see the difference in your blood sugar reading. And also, you do need to get quality sleep. A lot of people do not sleep good at night, and I am one of those people. My mind is always racing, coming up with new ideas, and I am a very adventurous person, and I own my own business. I work a full-time job. I got my grandkids, my daughter, my son, my my husband. I mean, I just have so much on my brain, so... We got to find ways, and I'm talking about we because I I am included in the group. Find ways to get in at least six hours of um, quality sleep every night. If you don't get six hours of quality sleep every night, it can disrupt the balance of insulin and blood sugar. So if you are not getting good restful sleep, You need to try avoiding alcohol. If you drink, avoid caffeine and spicy foods at night. You can also try lowering. I don't know why my tongue is so tired tonight. Excuse me, y'all. You can try lowering the temperature in your bedroom. Because, you know, some people, they say they sleep better when it's very cold. Some people say they don't sleep well when it's very cold. So based on your body and what your body likes, um, you may want to adjust the temperature in the bedroom. Also, I found that if you turn off all the lights and the TV in your bedroom, it do help with falling asleep. So I'm going to tell y'all one bonus way that I lost weight and how I beat diabetes and I do have the blood work to prove it.
I started drinking one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar with the mother. It's at Walmart. It's Bragg's apple cider vinegar. When I tell you that vinegar went in and when I tell you my blood work was like a newborn baby. My triglycerides was all over the place. Cholesterol was sky high. My uh, A1C was very high. All of my blood work was just this. It was in it was in disarray. But when I started drinking the apple cider vinegar, stopped eating fried foods, started um, exercising more, drinking nothing but water, my blood work went back to perfect so i'm telling you if you can tolerate it take one tablespoon of bragg's apple cider vinegar with the mother put it in any drink or even pour it on a salad if you choose or you could take a straight shot but i recommend that you chase that shot of apple cider vinegar because it can scorch your throat and cause problems with you know Um, your esophagus so you got to be mindful of taking straight up raw apple cider vinegar okay guys so with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and end the podcast i just wanted to jump on real quick this is not my normal um podcast day normally i broadcast on thursday so tomorrow y'all we got a great topic Tomorrow, I am so excited. We're going to be talking about relationships that turns to marriages and incorporating um, pretty much like a blended family. So if I have kids, I start dating and then my kids start resenting the person I'm dating because... I spend more time with that new person and the kids feel neglected. We're going to talk about how to balance all of that so that it becomes a family unit versus split um, split relationships, meaning the kids only hang with the mom or the kids only hang with the dad. We're going to talk about how to bring the kids and the mother and the with well, a new new person in the relationship, whether it be male or female. So we're gonna talk about it, y'all. I don't want to give away too much information. Um, but y'all, I look forward to broadcasting tomorrow. Be sure to tune in. I may go live on this particular particular um subject. Because I want feedback from my listeners. So, yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. Until then, y'all, y'all stay blessed, stay prayed up. And as I always say, keep God first. Bye-bye.